Welcome to Devano's show. Yeah, we are playing Devano and we are only taking Laurel. Non-evolved, so we won't go for Crimson Shroud. We will just play this as it is right now. Now, you might have noticed we are playing on hurry mode. I will explain more about that later. Just wanted to say that, that you're not confused what's going on. And we kicked it off with the Bloodline Arcana. That means while we can't kill the enemies with our weapon, the Bloodline Arcana can. And we get more HP out of it. Whenever we kill an enemy with Retaliation, then we gain 0.5 HP. I thought about the multiple options that you have in the game that we could go for. We have Heart of Fire, the Bloodline Arcana, and the new Arcana, the Blood One, where we get a special effect. However, I came to the conclusion that this is probably the best Arcana to start with, so you guarantee you have a lot of HP farmed up. And once you get overrun, you can just deal with the enemies by, well, having a lot of HP, you know. If we turn this around, then we would start with Heart of Fire, and then we get the Bloodline Arcana. The only time the enemies would start touching us is when it's already too late and then we would just start falling like flies, like every single revival. I don't really want that, though the Heart of Fire, I was told, destroys the breakables if you're close to them. And it also has AoE, which is very helpful, you know, do not take a lot of damage. So everything has its ups and downsides. Now the Blood Arcana, the new one, is um, interesting. To a degree, it's incredibly powerful and good. But also, it's it's kind of uh, weak, <laughs> but it will allow us to break the Candelabras, so I want to take it as the second one. Ah, uh, yeah, the boss got me. Uh, I should have dodged that. The nice part is, we build up a lot of bonus HP, as you can see. And with the revival, we gain 50% of the HP that we had there, so 228, I think it was at that time. That was a lot, you know, that is way more than what you usually get. And the more HP that we stack up, the more beneficial this entire thing will be. And it won't take all too long until we're at 11 minutes. And then we can get the next Arcana, the Blood One, the Blood Bath. And that should take care of most of the enemies, hopefully. That's also why I went for the Duplicator, so it has a better effect. I actually, now that I think about it, I'm actually not sure if this has an effect on Laurel. Most of these are affected by a mount, so I would assume yes, but maybe it doesn't. I really hope it does. Either way, uh, we are looking for the final item. What is that? Oh, Tiragisu. Yeah, of course. And I should probably go for Pomorula. We have so much armor that the enemies only do one damage. That means at this time we really need healing. And of course we want to max out the Laurel. With the Hollow Heart, it's a complicated decision. If we max it out now or put points into it, then we get more revival HP, but if we wait, then we get 20% on the higher HP from the retaliation killing, right? Because it's always based on the current HP that you have and not on a future value or so. Uh, that means if I take it right now, I would get the bonus for 750 HP, I will get more revival HP, but if I wait until 1k, then I would get 200 bonus HP. That sounds a lot better to me, maybe. Um, actually looking at this, this is really bad. I may need to be a little bit more careful of all this and recover some HP, but I can't recover HP if I have to level up. So... I kind of want to have Tiragisu now, that I can pick up the Empty Tome on the stage. That would be good right about now. So let's take a short moment to talk about the hurry mode. All in all, the videos struggle a bit with one issue. We have a ton of fun early on to figure out strategies and get there, and then the rest of the video is like, yeah, once a minute, once every five minutes or so, I will show the progress. And I don't think there's too much exciting things that I can show to people. I mean, I don't think it's exciting to just stand still and kill all the enemies. If it's your first Vampire Survivors video, then sure, yes it is, it's very rewarding. But if you have seen 10, 20, 50 of these, then you don't want to just sit around and watch like a dude killing all the enemies for 10 minutes without moving. And there, there's nothing going on that you can talk about really, right? Uh, do I actually want... I don't have a revival. Uh oh. Oh, this is not good. Okay, I have to be a lot more careful here. Oh, this is really bad. Okay. But yeah, that's why I chose hurry mode. I will not play on hurry mode in the future if we do something like limit break, where we heavily benefit from more level ups, because we want to break the weapons, right? That is the point of that. Ah, go away from me. But on videos like this, I think it's more than fine if we do that. And yeah, that's how I will do it moving forward, unless you have something to say about this and you think, no, that's a really bad idea. I shouldn't do that. But uh, you know what's actually really, really bad? <laughs> not having a revival. Uh... Um, um, 
Um, help. And I can't just go for Empty Tomb now. I need the Tiragisu. We are on level 20. No. This will take ages to level up. That's not good. Okay. Uh, can I just have a sliver of red HP maybe? Like just a teeny tiny bit? That's a boss that will hurt. Oh, this will hurt a lot. Oh, ouch. I mean, we do have a lot of HP, you know, so we might survive for quite some time. No, this is way too much. I'm taking too much damage. Ooh. Please level up and give... I mean, should I just attempt to level up? Oh, but I will take so much damage. The funny part is the only thing that I would need is Tiragisu. Like, to have it at level 2 here. And we would be fine. Hmm. This is not Tiragisu. But if I reroll here, the odds are so against me. Yeah. Oh, wow. That, that actually hurts. That hurts my soul. <laughs> really? So, I changed my strategy a little bit. I got the Tiragisu. I mean, it has nothing to do with a strategy. That was just lucky. But I will go for Hollow Heart whenever I get it, as well as Laurel. And if I don't get either of these or Pomorola, then I will just banish something. I mean, we don't need the armor right now. The enemies are too weak for that, that it would be a benefit. So I'm better off to just find the missing piece, which is right now Duplicator. And then I have Empty Tomb to recharge my shield faster. Like, that is insanely important right now. And there we have Duplicator. While I did lose a revival already, we had 930 HP. This will be very easy. Well, hopefully, you know. Hopefully is always the thing. Oh my god, I didn't. I just passed through to get the last Empty Tomb and I triggered the Guardian. Well, I mean, I guess it is fine. It's not optimal, but, like, I would have wanted to do it later. But I want to have the arrow either way. Yeah, should we just take it? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, I have to be careful that I don't accidentally evolve the Laurel. Well, I guess there is no reason to go for Curse either way. Uh, let's go for Armor or Hollow Heart. I think I will go for Hollow Heart since I will definitely die very soon. And the more HP I have, the longer the revival will last. That I can still farm. The thing is, it's really hard to kill us in general. But eventually, the enemies will kill me. So, yeah. And keep in mind, we have to kill the bat with the Arcana. That could be a problem in the future. Oh, and I definitely want to farm here. Never mind. Let me farm that. That is such a weird thing to do. Like farming this way. Um, we have more hollow. Oh, that is perfect. If I could get one more level up here. No, I can't, sadly. Okay, it's still fine. We have a final revival left over. That means in that one we get the max amount of HP that we managed to accumulate. Yeah, this will be a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Should I just kill this boss here for a chest? Well, for a chance at a chest. He's not guaranteed. But I don't think he deals all too much damage, right? So this should be easy. We have Pomo... Yeah, perfect. Oh my god, even a triple chest. And that was kind of useless. I guess it's fine. A max out duplicator means we don't get it as level up offers anymore, which is great. The armor is nice. The attract orb is like, yeah, we don't need that yet, but it's... Oh my god, there's Arcana. Okay, bump, bump. Wait, where's the second guardian coming from? Did I really trigger you? Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there we go. I reset the last run, by the way, because I'm not gonna gamble whether we get the Arcana or not. Oh, this is not good. There it is. Oh, perfect. Here, we have three rerolls left. Now we have this little garlic field on the floor. And what I want for that is I just want to have more magnet. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. The amount is already showing off. Do you see how many explosions we have? That is only because of the amount. Otherwise, we would only have two of them. But because we have plus two amount, it's a lot better. Well, it's twice as good, pretty much. The reason why it doesn't really matter too, too much is it's still only four, right? Like, look at the explosions. They don't deal damage to a lot of enemies. I actually think they only hit specific enemies, right? No, no, that was a lot of enemies. Okay, interesting. So at this point, I will just farm up more. We will get less bonus HP because our Bloodline Arcana will kill enemies. We will get less HP because our Blood Arcana will kill enemies. But look at this. Oh my god. Yeah, careful there. The Guardians still do a ton of damage, so I have to be careful with that. 
And there we go. How many revivals do I have left? One. Really? Oh, that could be a problem. I mean, we will revive with so much HP. I don't think it will be a problem, but you never know. And I wonder, do we want to head over and trigger the other guardians? Just for fun, to annoy them. Um, I like the idea. Yeah, let's do that. I will not pick up the curse items because uh, if we max them out, we can actually evolve Laurel. And the point of this is to use Laurel, not to evolve it. Or, or do we want to have more curse? The problem is nothing that we have right now scales with curse, so that wouldn't help us at all. It would just make it harder to kill the enemies, right? Yeah, I don't think that would be good. And the thing is, curse doesn't change anything about how much damage you take. Like, it doesn't increase the damage the enemies deal, and you can only take so much damage per second. Like, even if 10,000 enemies are attacking you at the same time, you can you can only take roughly 5 attacks per second because of invulnerability frames. And that makes it kind of pointless to go for more curse, you know. <laughs> or maybe I should look for some chickens. Yeah, that would be amazing. Because on 4,000 HP, it would be so helpful to have that. The only slight issue is we don't get any bonus HP from the Blood Arcana. I mean, I gotta say, we turned into a huge powerhouse here. That is insane. Our HP regeneration is 3.3. That means as long as the enemies don't have more than 14 attack, we will only take one damage. Oh, come on, really? But yeah, per hit, we will only take one damage. And that means we out heal two thirds of the damage that we take. That is quite bonkers. I mean, it won't help us for bosses or for... But well, how much damage do witches deal? I think they deal 15, so it's not even that bad. Uh, it's actually it's actually not so good either. Well, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, I would say it's fine. 4.1k HP. Let's take a look at it again. Uh, 4. Point, yeah, we got 3 HP there, so six, 5 to 6 kills. Hmm, I don't know if I like that. I guess if I really want to stack up HP, I have to run through the enemies. But do you see how the witches are not dying in a single hit? And that's why I don't want to go for curse, kind of. If it doesn't change the challenge, but it... Ooh. But it just makes it more boring, since we would stop getting so much HP as we did. Then what's the point really, right? Yeah. Since we are nearing the 21 minute mark, I'm currently thinking about what Arcana would be good. Heart of Fire is an option where we get insane AoE. That would be great. The alternative would be that we go for Awake, because Awake also gives us armor, that gives more damage to the retaliation, right? That's great. And if I would start dying to powerful enemies, then I still would have the revivals left, but I think we'll have a little bit more fun. We'll just go for the Explosion Boys, the Heart of Fire. Is there something else that I'm forgetting that would be really good? I don't think so, right? One thing I did consider is the amount Arcana. If that gives Laurel more amount, then we would have more explosions. But, I mean, look at how rare the explosions are. Oh my god. Silent Old Sanctuary. Oh, okay, okay, okay. If I get Silent Old Sanctuary, I will go for Silent Old Sanctuary, I think. Because this will give us so much cooldown that our shield should just recharge all the time, right? And that means we constantly have these explosions going on. Like crazy. Oh my, okay, we need Silent Old Sanctuary. And by the way, we will not be invulnerable. To be invulnerable, you need around 86 to 88% cooldown reduction. I'm a little bit confused in regards to that because I was always told it's 88% and I never tested it. I just went along with it. And then I tested it and I got it with 86%. So I was like, huh. Yeah, that's interesting. Like, if you ask anyone in the community, pretty much everyone will tell you it's 88%. Okay, that would be the one that I would want now. Don't do this to me. Give it to me. No! That is the second one that I want. Please don't mess this up. Oh, okay, 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 we got it, we got it. Are you ready for the explosions? Well... I mean, that is nice, but... <laughs> uh, are, are you ready for the explosions? Well, oh, no, no, never mind. There are a lot of explosions. That was just the last cooldown. Wait, that is insane. <laughs> that is amazing. Wait, what? Wait, that is amazing. 
Now I want to have 90% cooldown reduction. Chassis goes goes off more often. Oh, that is amazing. Wow. Uh, you might hear with the change of my tone that I really didn't expect this. Like, I thought it was a little bit better, but not this much. Wait, hold on. So, but... Didn't this read? Yeah, when I went through the wiki article, it read that whenever Lore Shield recharges, then it goes off. But I guess the recharging doesn't mean it has to physically recharge, like the shield co changes color from the green back to the yellow, so it's fully recharged. But what it actually means is just the interval of the weapon. So if it would take now one second to recharge, then it will just go off no matter how many charges you have in the weapon. Okay, I gotta say this is just amazing. Wow. And the thing is, it also deals 1 point something K damage, right? Combined with the garlic effect on the floor, that is great. And while the garlic effect doesn't look like something special, do you see how much the enemies stutter? It's not a very, very ginormous difference, but it interrupts them from walking for a moment. And that is valuable. I mean, not for us right now, because we don't really care about that. Like, they just die if I stand still. Look at the... Uh, huh? They are not dying. Well, I mean, kind of, but we are still losing the shield. Interesting. I will attempt to hit the Guardians before we reach 29 minutes. But do you see what I mean with hurry mode, that we can just play through this? We don't need to skip anything here. In fact, if I skip, then the game is almost over. So I can't even do that without losing a major part of the video. And I think that's great to have constant action going. But yeah, let me know what you think about the hurry mode for videos like these. As I said, I wouldn't do it for limit breaks or videos where the point is to go as far as possible. But for a majority of the future videos, I will probably do it. Uh, there we go. Thank you for the stone mask. And let's head over. The stone mask was over there, so that means the arrow is right around the corner. There is a chance I will not be able to max it out because, I mean, look, look at our level ups, okay? I'm not leveling up very quickly. But we will have two more chests, one more chest. Yeah, because one chest will be here. Yeah, I won't get a lot. In fact, I might not even get the second one. Oh, the hurry mode curse. Backfiring. Hi, Guardian. Okay, goodbye, Guardian. Dude, I'm in a rush. I need to go. I'm sorry. I don't have time for you. And there we go. Come on, come on, come on. It's, it's around the corner. I just need to max this out. Please. 28 minutes. We can do this. Okay, come on, come on, come on. 1.2k damage, that is so much. Where's this damage calculation even coming from? Ah, uh, there we go. I think we can just stand still. That, that was it. Is there a chest? No, no, no. Okay, we didn't kill the boss. Very good. Yeah, I think I can just stand still. Maybe I will bump in to the boss and just kill him. One shot. Easy peasy. Okay. And there should be another boss here from 28 minutes. Where? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Goodbye, Mr. Boss. Wait, goodbye, good, goodbye, Mr. Boss. Yay! We got a ring! Okay, do you remember how I said I don't want to pick up both arrows so we don't evolve Laurel? Good that it wasn't maxed out yet. <laughs> we would have had Shroud. Oh, it's fine. And there we go. Oh, can we max this out in the last uh, one minute here? 30 seconds, actually? I think we can. It should be easy. I also want to kill the Guardian. Just to show who's boss. Here. Come on, Guardian. Touch me. Yeah, goodbye. Mr. Other Guardian. Do you want to say hello to my special ability? No, don't get pushed away. That is boring. Come back. Hello? Uh, <laughs> all the enemies wobbled around. Do you see that? In our garlic field. Just wobble, wobble, wobble. For a moment, let me turn off the damage number so you can see the wobbling. And by a moment, I mean for the rest of the video. Wobble, wobble. Wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> I can't reach the Guardian. Oh my god, I will be able to kill the Guardian. Here. Mr. Guardian. Mr. Ouch. I want to kill the Guardian. Don't you dare interrupt me. There we go. Thank you. Uh... That takes way longer than I thought it would. I mean, we survived for 33 seconds. That's not bad. Uh, oh my... <laughs> I mean, it does make sense. That is quite amazing.